Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. I know this setup looks totally different. So as you guys know, it is 2024 and I was asking a lot of you guys at the party, like what all do y'all want to see from me in the new year? And a lot of people were saying, we want to see you more. We want to see you on camera. We want to see your lovely face. I'm like, not my lovely face, child. Y'all know I love my, my damn voiceovers. I love my little cartoons. But people have been asking me to come on camera more and they've also been wanting me to do reaction videos. And y'all know I love my tea sippers. So since enough people ask me here I is okay now I have been working with my animator we've been having a ball this week just coming up with like just different ideas I've been sketching out different layouts and having him animate stuff so I hope you guys like this um, I have a few of them in the works I just want to make something nice you know pop you know what I'm saying something that can keep Gen Alpha's attention okay because we know their attention span is uh, you child gone okay but anyways I am here to talk about the gift that keeps on giving. And what is that? This Cat Williams Club Shay Shay interview. Um, this interview just will not die, okay? The internet is literally digging into everything that Cat Williams said. They are pulling out receipts. They are calling folks out. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. So let me go ahead and rewind that back a bit. If you guys remember when Cat Williams was on Club Shay Shay, they had this conversation right here. Related to uh, Luda? No. Um, so there was a crossroads where we were both invited to an Illuminati thing, and it had to be one or the other of us, and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. All right, so you guys just heard what Cat Williams had to say about the situation. So after that, Ludacris dropped a diss track. I'm like, okay, nobody asked for this, but all right, we'll take a listen. So now if that's not crazy enough, the other day I was minding my damn black ass business, you know, just, you know, walking around my Instagram page. And I seen that Marty had posted um, some type of diss track to Ludacris from Cat Williams. I said, oh shit, okay, let me go ahead and listen to this. So I go to go listen to it, and I'm like, it just sounded terrible. I'm like, what was this recorded on, a toaster? Hey, let go of my ankle. Like, what the hell is this about? And so people in the comment section were telling me that, no, it wasn't recorded on a toaster. He was on Suge Knight's podcast. Suge Knight was calling him from jail, and that's how it was recorded. So if y'all don't know, Suge Knight does have a podcast, honey. Now, y'all know he's doing 28 years for killing Terry and running over Bone. But instead of him, you know, quietly doing his time and reading the Quran, uh, Dave Mays done set him up with a podcast, honey. I said, well, why not? Everybody else got a damn podcast. Shig Knight got all types of old school tea that he also wants to spill. So he's been doing that over the past few weeks. And because him and Cat Williams are really good friends, he had Cat Williams on his jailhouse podcast. And so this is the rap that Cat Williams said on the podcast. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this right here. <laughs> I'm coming for your number one spot. One of us to kill her and the other one is not. One of us to be this and the other one is not. I'm coming for your number one spot. Oh, Chris, I wish you never came to this. And you pissed Rapper Free for the first time, but you dissed and missed the wrong side of history in a time like this. I'm so ludicrous. Sorry, uterus. You were infant chronicles. You ain't knew that this you went from Mr. Moore. Wait, girl, you know, come on, come on, come on. Not the operator. Ciao. In real life, I'm fast and furious. In real life, you fight furious. Got a fast car, but you hit the median. Another body, a body by comedian. But I got paid. No kiss is a month. But I got read. They just say the liar big than a mother. But he say got shoot. For your number one spot. Not him having a chorus, and this shit sounds like trash. 
I'm I'm in fucking the fuck off. You heard it and we on Club KJ. I gave a all a payday. I'm still going your problem, so who care what the hate say? You the crazy must be out your rapping ass line. Hit a rap song, but you ain't found. And he bites the whole his life. Don't wanna lose your life and I'm about to roll these dice. I'm just gonna come in for your number one spot. One of us is killer and the other one is not. One of us the realest and the other one not. I'm coming for your number one spot. One last point and I'm gonna leave it alone. I've never personally been with Quincy Jones, but you, that was your girl, girl, boy, boy. Don't play with these toys, I'm in to be avoided at all costs. Just go ahead and swallow up that little. You know I know what I know what I know. The truth is you gotta go, you gotta go. I'm coming for you. No. All right, on that note, I gotta go. Y'all know I have very sensitive ears, so that, you know, just was too much back feeding. But I caught the most important parts of the tea. He says that he's never had any type of relationship with Quincy Jones, but it seems that Ludacris has, and even caught him by curious. Okay. So, you know the internet ain't shit. You know the internet go internet. So, of course, everybody started trying to dig into what Cat Williams was saying, like, hold up. Is there something going on with Ludacris and Quincy Jones? Now, we all know Quincy Jones is a big-ass freak. Remember when he came out a few years ago? He said that Richard Pryor, Marlon Brando, and James Baldwin, they all like to have sex together. He said Marlon Brando was such a freak that he'd fuck a mailbox, okay? That was Quincy Jones spilling the tea back in 2018. But I've always asked myself, how does he know all this unless, you know, he was there? How you know that man likes to fuck mailboxes, Quincy? Okay, um, we've all seen those weird videos of Quincy Jones not being able to keep his hands off of Michael Jackson, child. So now everybody's like, okay, what is going on with this ludicrous Quincy Jones connection? And the internet has not only found Ludacris's Grammy speech <laughs> from 2007 when he's talked about how he had to cut off his hair in order to win a Grammy, but they also found a really disturbing video of Quincy Jones grabbing Ludacris's hand and holding his hand, honey. Like, you know, like that was his girl girl and Luda was his boy boy. So we're gonna go ahead and watch both those videos right now. And the winner for the best rap album goes to Ludacris is your year, baby. So y'all telling me all I had to do was cut my hair to win the best rap album? That's what y'all telling me? Huh? Y'all remember what Cat Williams said, honey? To, you know, just have him in my life. He's a great, great leader. Great leader. Living legend. That's what we sitting in front of, bro. Right? Yeah. 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 Quincy. You. Yeah. Honey. All right, so y'all just saw the video of Ludacris winning a Grammy Award and then the video of Quincy Jones grabbing his hand, honey, like he was in labor and needed extra support. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. So everybody's talking about this. This is going viral. Folks can say whatever they want to say about Cat Williams, but I have noticed none of them have called him a liar. And for whatever reason, the internet is steadily finding receipts that tie back to everything that Cat Williams was saying. There was even a receipt I ran across the other day where basically Fat Faison Liar had kicked Cat Williams and his friends out of the club and called the police. Faison called the police on us. And they ran in the club. Yeah. So as you see, the internet is pulling all types of receipts. So again, now they're pulling out receipts showing that Faison has been fucking with Cat Williams. You know, Faison wants to say that Cat Williams is crazy and he has all types of issues, but we see this old video of Cat Williams calling out Faison Love for being the police. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation.
with Ludacris versus Cat Williams and do you feel like there was ever a thing between Ludacris and Quincy Jones or do you feel like the internet is reaching and do you guys believe that basically you know what Cat is saying that Luda and many other celebrities you know basically bowed down to the Illuminati and that is how they were able to get their Grammy Awards and get into certain spaces and when you have integrity and you're not willing to sell your soul you know you're kind of dismissed and you're not allowed into those spaces so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below don't forget to share the video like and subscribe and I'll talk to y'all later deuces if you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.